Okay, mate. Um, absolutely delighted. I remember when Coinbase took your your uh, loom, and I think maybe from memory that they, they took your money as well at one point or something. I, I forget now exactly, but I, I do remember the loom. Um, and I, I can't believe it's it's been a year that they that they had your your loom. God, it's really dodgy. You know, for such a big exchange like that, you you really don't do not expect that sort of uh, behavior. So delighted, mate. That's fantastic news. Um, let, let's have a look at it here. Now I've used this chart here because this is the calculated by trading view. Now there will be extra wicks maybe here and, and here that will not be on the USDT chart, for example. Like these wicks here might not be on the USDT D, DT chart, but uh, it gives you a better overall price view. There, there's, there's more history here. But I also can look at the USDC uh, and BTC if you like. Um, so I'm just going to look here because this is the most data and I want to see uh, the yearly chart, right? This yearly chart looks perfectly fine. Absolutely uh, nothing wrong with it. Um, just absolutely nothing wrong with this chart at all. Uh, you know, a, a consolidation year after a big push up would be very normal. And even, even um, you know, even if this finishes red, for example, if this finishes red on a year, uh, I'll just turn it red so there's no confusion. Now, if we get a red year, it, it, there, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with this. I, I still think that this looks very good. And I, I think then, you know, we will start popping back up with patience. Um, and, and I'm not saying that we're going to have a red year here. I'm just saying worst case scenario with this is a red year. I still don't see it as a problem for Luma. I think Luma will eventually come back up. Uh, there's there's obviously a lot of liquidity up here on the yearly chart that we will come back for. So these dips down here is saying that this is a buying opportunity for price to come back up. So if you have patience, you may get to sell your loom. Well, in here and and very likely, you know, when we start going bullish again, loom will take out these highs and move up here, up way way past this 25 cent level, right up here. You can see 25 cent right there. We should eventually in time uh, take out this high i would say this to me looks like bullish consolidation on a yearly basis now sometimes worst case scenario you can get um two of these for example right and then you will start to break up and break out this inside consolidation for me uh is longer term bullish on, on a yearly chart so we we don't know you know do we do we do we get a second year of consolidation or dip or whatever uh, we don't know that might de depend on the, the stock market and stuff um, but for me this is a bullish structure of a chart overall now if we if we break that down to uh, smaller time frames like the monthly for example the, the monthly here now I, I'm I'm not ruling out the fact that we could go lower. Right, this, I suppose we could draw a bit of a trend line here. You know, there, there may be, uh, if, if this trend line breaks, right, uh, it's trying to hold right now, and this may hold, and this may, you know, it may continue, but if this, if, if we get a sharp drop on Bitcoin, for example, we may want to flush through the level, right? But it really depends on when Bitcoin would break down, because, um, for example, if, if this can hold here for a period and, and we start moving up a bit, um, you know, Bitcoin can flush then all at once and this can drop back down to this level again, you know, and, and say that trend line comes up here and then eventually, you know, price will come back up. The, qu the big question is when, when and if does Bitcoin flush and potentially drop through that uh, $30,000 level? But at this point, you know, this bullish engulfing candle here is signifying that it might want to go higher here, or it should go higher, it should attempt to go higher at least. Um, let's look at this. Yeah, uh, hmm, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. I mean, this is potentially a bit of a bearish flag that may want to still roll over a bit. Uh, before moving back up, you know, it, it might roll down and, and take about a period of time or whatever. As I said, you know, the yearly candle, it may need that new year to, to make movements. 
I know that might sound really bad or whatever, but uh, it, it's not that bad, really. I mean, in theory, it's not. Anyway, at least this looks this looks like very bullish structure. And as I said, at some point, you know, price is going to come back up here uh, at a minimum, right? At, at a very minimum. So if we look at this, is that going to come back up here this year? Well, it is possible to come back up up here this year for sure. It just means that we need to flip. Uh, let's assume it means we need to flip green here and push up and have a green year, obviously. So we you just want to watch this yearly candle and see if it can flip green maybe on the next month or so. But if we, and I'm rambling on this now, but I, I'm just trying to make it kind of clear that, you know, there is a possibility that we form a small inside yearly candle, which would mean a lot of chop for the year. Now, hopefully we don't get that. Um, and, and then, you know, if we did form a small candle, you know, I, I would think then the next year we're going to come back up there and, and you know, maybe, maybe beyond that then or whatever. But uh, I don't think the prices are going to stay down here forever. I, I think we're coming back up. Yeah, the, the the BTC chart here is uh you know it's tough to say. I mean it's a it's a real choppy mess. It'd be pretty hard to call anything out of that except for the fact that this is form potentially forming a bullish bottoming a bullish bottoming diamond pattern. Okay, diamond patterns are uh, major reversal patterns. Now if you I'm sure you know about diamond patterns, but you know, they're potentially major, major long-term uh, bottoming patterns, potentially, or reversal patterns, I should say. You get them at market tops and market bottoms. And this, and Loom, is potentially forming a giant diamond bottoming pattern. So if this is true, you know, this this could be break out. And if, if, the, if the BTC pair is going to do this, well, that yearly chart that I talked about, about Loom is going to break up and break the all-time highs, well, this is probably true. So this is an extremely interesting pattern. Uh, very, very, it really does look like there's a lot of potential here. 